So this is a speed ramp. And this is not a speed ramp. So over the past few years, I played around a lot with Premiere Pro and After Effects, and I found so many ways of speed ramping, but there's only one that I actually like, and I believe the right one. So this is what we're learning today. So we're gonna use After Effects, and the first thing you need is a moving shot, obviously. So we're gonna use a drone shot just for ease, because usually drone shots are nice and steady, so it's easy to speed ramp through them or in between them. So let's pull that up in After Effects. Get a new timeline and select the parts that we want to have in the video. Once you're happy, let's right click and click timer mapping. Now you wanna set a keyframe at the start and at the end of the video. Go over to where you want the speed ramp to start end to end and set keyframes here. Then just drag over the points together and don't forget to also drag the final or the first keyframe with it. Otherwise you'll just be slowing down the time in between them too. And once you're done, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Obviously that's not the final result. So let's go over and refine it. Click on the graph tab and yes, this looks extremely confusing, but it's actually not. Make sure timer mapping is selected and then you go over these points. Drag the points to make something that looks like this. This also applies if you wanna speed ramp into a different shot or if you wanna speed ramp from another shot. So just make sure the ramp always looks something like this, like going up and then going down. Make sure you don't have something that's like that. Otherwise it's just not gonna work. Usually this is the most effective way to have the smooth look that we're chasing. So now if you play back, you'll see that it's definitely looking better from where we had before, but they're still missing something. So let's add motion blur. Go over into the effects tab and type in force motion blur and drag it over your footage. Now up here in the top left, you're gonna see all the parameters of the effect. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna switch from eight to 16, and then we're gonna switch this on and set this between 200 and 300 depending on how much motion blur do you want in your shot. And literally, that's it. You can render it, play it back, and there you have a perfectly smooth, right way of making a speed ramp. Again, I'm not saying this is the only way. Uh, it's definitely faster to do it in Premiere Pro, but I think this is the way that looks the best, and I just really like the look of it. So go over and try it, and if you do like it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. You like these lights, by the way? I switched them like pink. So you can kind of have, you know, we're talking about After Effects, After Effects is pink. So I was like, how do I make this video a bit more tutorial, YouTuber kind of thingy? All right, that's it. See you next video.